one material to work with? That's a really difficult question. I, I mean, I feel like a, a boring answer, but I feel like it's true, is wood. Because wood is so flexible, you can do so many things with it. From building a house to making a toothpick, you know, you can go to the extremes. And I think the, the material is timeless, obviously, and, uh, and it's, yeah, wood. For me, is I try to identify what's truthful, and if you're honest and loyal to the truth, your result is timeless in some ways. So, so for example, a tree is my perfect example for me. Whereas I look at a tree in the in the park, I don't think you question if it's beautiful or not. I don't think you look at it and say it looks kind of 20 years. Uh, it looks like it's from the 1980s or something. Like you wouldn't have a, never an opinion like this because it's a tree. It's beautiful. Of course it is. It's a truthful result to the of the ecosystem. Whereas a car, yeah, that looks kind of a few years old or 10 years. You can you can choose a time and a place that it exists from, and you can identify it because that's an opinion. It's someone's opinion, and I think we can choose to like it or not. And that's fair. I think a tree is we accept it as beautiful and so I try to work in that way where it's a truthful honest result from its environment and therefore it's void of trend I hope because it shouldn't matter it's really something that surpasses that that's my goal that's what I work for people haven't changed right everything else has but for 400 years for the most part people are people and uh, What's meaningful to us hasn't changed. Shelter, security, health, happiness, love, all these things, those are constant values. And if we design to these values, we're, that's what's important. The context, the cult, contemporary culture that's associated around those, that's what's moving all the time. So what I look for is to try to find the baseline that we actually are all linked to since forever.